It's my favorite night of the week, except Thursdays, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start facing the center of the room, meaning front of the room. Sorry, not center, front of the room. Step on your mat in your little Pilates stance. Remember, Pilates stance, heels are together, toes are turned out, just one fist width. I'm going to walk my hands down that band. Now I'm going to be very careful coming back up because that's a lot of resistance. Okay? So my head's hanging heavy, shoulders are relaxed. I'm going to pull that navel to my spine, zip my legs to my seat, to my feet, and start to bring myself up from my core, never my back. And you got to include the glutes. And you're going to open up that chest. Draw that shin to your chest. Start to round forward, taking your time. Inhaling and exhaling. Pull that navel in. I start to come up. My glutes have to start to help as well. I tuck that tail down towards my heels. I come up, get those shoulders back, especially if you've been working all day and our shoulders are like this, right? Being on that computer. So open up that chest through a door frame. Nod that shin to your chest. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Pull it up on an inhale. And we'll exhale. Let's stretch the sides of our bodies. I want you to just lean to one side. Let that band feel like it's pulling you over. But then you're going to use that muscle to come back up. And then we're going to lean to the other side. And use the opening to pull you back up. Let's inhale as we stretch over. And exhale, bring it up. And inhale. And exhale. One more inside. Hips don't go with you. Navel still pulling in and up. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Lift up the heels and then separate them and put them back down. So the heels are apart. Knees are tracking over your toes. We're going to bend those knees, the butt goes back, chest stays proud, and then drive up and open those hips. And we inhale down, and we exhale back up. So I want your eyes to be fixed higher than eye level. I want the weight more in your heels and your toes. And you're choosing how far to bend. And we inhale, and we exhale. Just three more. Use your breath. Two more. Booty back, proud chest. Last one, good. Nice step one foot up at a time. Go back to your Pilates stance. I'm gonna hold the band, chest height, and slightly wider than my frame. I'm gonna pull down on an inhale, open your chest, and then exhale. And do that again, so connect your heels. I want that seat to feet connection going on, inhale. And exhale. Two more, please. Inhale, open. Exhale. And one more. Pull down and through. And now I'm going to take my arms across an imaginary shelf. I'm opening my chest, squeezing my back muscles, and then returning, keeping my band just as tight. Inhale, pull. Exhale, use your breath. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the lips. Three more. Inhale and exhale. Two more. Open and squeeze. And one more. Good. I'm going to bring my arms back up. I'm still in this little V. I'll do a side stretch over. Now my top arm is going to stay straight and my bottom arm is going to pull down. And it's staying straight as well. But I'm going to keep that upper arm where it was when I did my side bend. Two more. Last one, and then you'll bring yourself back up to center. I side stretch the opposite direction, so I'm gonna keep my top arm still and pull down and bring it up. I'm gonna inhale and exhale. Two more, inhale, two exhale. And last one, and I'm gonna bring it back up. And I'm gonna take the arms behind me Slide it down, keep the chest open, try not to arch. Bring it back up and lower it down. Lift up onto your toes, that's an option for balance. Bring it behind. Lift back up, keep those heels raised. And 
one more. So if you have all your critical connections, there's three, seat to feet, belly in and up, scap little rib cage, and then we'll lower those heels back down. Take that band behind you to the base of your armpit. Ooh, the band's cold. And we're gonna pinch with our thumb and second finger, and the closer you pinch to your body, the tighter that band's gonna be. So my palms are facing down, my elbows are bent, and as I press out and hug a big oak tree, my navel pushed in, then I'm gonna open back up. So I'm gonna exhale forward, belly button presses in, and inhale out. You got it. Now if you wanna add on to this, you don't have to. Mirror me, slide your toe out in front of you. My knee is slightly turned out. As I push out, I'm gonna lift the leg, and then just tap the toes back down. Exhale, inhale, real straight leg, and that belly is lifting that leg as well as your hip. Good. And four. Woo, don't lose your balance. Three, critical connections, find them. Two, last one, and one, and bring the elbows back down. Okay, so if you need to readjust that band, make it a little looser, make it tighter, make your adjustment now. We take the arms back out, the other foot comes out, my knee is still turned out, so here, my knees are turned out, I just lift my foot forward. On the exhale, we lift, belly goes in, inhale, tap. With control. Feel the muscles working. Feel your standing leg working as well to stabilize you. And we go for four, three, two more, one more, and release. Now turn those palms to face the ceiling, and I want you to press out and come back in. So you're reaching forward towards me and coming back in. And again, as your arms go out, what's going in? Your belly. Mm -hmm. Opposition. So if I say to you, what's the O word in Pilates, you'll say opposition. <laughs> Four. We're so special today. <laughs> Three. You're all special. Two. And one. Now, I want you to open up your arms and then close. So the band's not doing much. Now, if you want to add some lower body, I'm gonna step out to the side and come back in, and then my other foot will step out and come back in. Inhale, so not a lunge, it's not a lunge, so two knees are bending, just like a squat. You don't have to step up. I inhale, I exhale, one more side, and last one, and bring it back down. Okay, so we're gonna take it down to our mats, and before you lie down, if you have weights with you, you're gonna put them one on each side in the center of your mat, so it's there. I'm also gonna come down a little fancier tonight. If you have a knee issue, go down now, and I'll meet you down there. So I'm gonna fold my band in half in front of me, and just hold my arms out, chest height, shoulder width. I'm gonna cross one foot over the other. So again, this is not for somebody who has a knee issue. Shoulders are down, scoop your belly in, and lift up those heels. I'm gonna shift my knees forward. I'm gonna slide my seat down an imaginary wall. Uh-huh. And then we sit. I heard cracking, so I hope you chose wisely. I lost them. I lost them. Okay. So I want you to take that band and place it behind your toes. Connect your heels. Try to have the band as best you can in the center of those feet. And again, the closer I hold it towards my feet, the more resistance my band's going to give me. I'm gonna lie back, so take your time, melt your waistline, take your time, and relax the shoulders. Now keeping your shoulders connected, not your chin to your chest right here, find your lower back, and then bring it back up. Try to keep your arms straight the whole entire time. And I know you're gonna to wanna to go like this, why not you? So your belly button is gonna lead. So I shouldn't be coming back like this. I should be rounding inside that tractor tire, 
Melt those shoulders, melt those shoulders, articulate that spine. Now hopefully the band can give you enough help coming up if you need it. Not that chenier chest. I start with an inhale, I'm gonna move slow, I'm gonna move slow, I exhale. Now once I'm all the way up, hands are apart, turn the palms in, sit as tall as you can, and we're gonna do some rows, we're gonna do some rows. Pull back and reach. Open the chest, squeeze those back muscles. If it's too easy, walk your hands further down. It's so easy to just move these arms and not feel those muscles. So I always say, make a fist in the muscle you're supposed to be working. So working the back muscles, close to the armpits, and just give me two more, one more, now keep those arms straight, we're gonna melt that waistline. Shoulders are down. Let the band kind of help you down. You don't have to go all the way down. Arms are straight, arms are straight, arms are straight. And now we'll nod that shin to our chest, find that lower back, inhale to exhale. We're gonna come up tall, and I want you to row four times. Four, three, navel in and up. No leaning back, knees are bent. Arms stay straight, shoulders melt, melt that waistline. So feel that lower back coming onto the mat, then the rib cage, then the shoulders. Relax that neck. Let the band feel like it's pulling your shoulders down towards your seat. Nod the chin to your chest, eyes to navel. Inhale to exhale. We'll come up tall, as tall as we can get. Crease at your hips and four more pulls, four, good, three, two more, two, and one. I want you to press your legs straight out, slide your hands further down so they're almost by your hips, and then take your knuckles together. Now I want you to bring the top of your sternum towards those hands. So I'm not gonna be back here and pull my hands. I wanna meet in the middle. Shoulders are down. Take a nice big inhale. Now squeeze those legs together for support. Exhale, melt, but we're not gonna touch the mat. So don't go, catch me. It's round. Hold right here. Open up your arms to a V. I want your thumbs to tip down. Pull on the band first. Get those shoulders working. Now your head's gonna come forward and your knuckles touch behind you. Head is heavy. Now lift those arms as high as you can. And then as my arms come back out to this V, sit up, bend your arms, and connect your wrists or your knuckles. Okay, are we sitting tall? Uh, inhale first. Exhale all the air out of your stomach and round that spine. Take that band with you, relax the shoulders. The more I squeeze my legs together, I'm supported up a little higher. Open out to this V, thumbs down. Pull back first, continue. Palms are up, knuckles are down. Lift those arms up, circle. Once my band's gonna feel like it's gonna get loose, I bend my elbows and connect my knuckles. Right now, the shoulders are down, I'm sitting as tall as I can go. Inhale here, exhale, chin to chest, round your spine, eyes to navel, hands glued to that sternum. Pause, open up. Pull back a little bit. Now continue pulling back and the stomach muscles are pressing in and up. Lift up, bring it around, and connect those knuckles. Good. Now I want you to make a 90 degree angle and the palms are facing you. So my upper arm is parallel to the floor and my hands are as wide as my frame. So we all need to come up a little bit more. So think of me being behind you and pushing you forward and zipping you up. Shoulders are down. Now this one's gonna be a flat back. The rest of them work round. We're gonna stay tall. So I'm gonna hinge back. Mm -hmm. Straighten your arms. Bend them and come back up. This should not hurt your back. Let the band support you. Inhale. Exhale, reach. Exhale, tall. 
the band's your friend. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more, connect those shoulders to your back. Round or come, hinge. So I used to say round, reach those arms long. 90, bring it up and bring those elbows down. Okay, take your left foot out of the band. Walk those hands further forward. I'm gonna lie back, pull this leg towards me and let my elbows come to the floor. So if this is feeling like your lower back is just not able to get heavy on that mat, that's your note to say, okay, I'm gonna bend my left leg. And when you bend that leg, you're gonna notice your back has more heaviness or support, right, than when it was straight. So you can pick straight leg or bent leg. I got one end in each hand and my elbows are down. I want you to soften that knee on an inhale. On the exhale, drive that foot up to the ceiling. Inhale again. And as you go up, the back is going down from your core pressing in. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. One more. Inhale. Exhale, stay. Now I want you, if you're able to, to turn that right kneecap away from you. And that's from my hip. I want you to anchor down that back. And we're going to take this leg towards our center. Down, around, and straight back up in line with that hip. So we're going to circle around and lift up. So the band is going to give you the opportunity to press that leg longer, stretching those muscles more, and using that band if you need the help to bring that leg back up. One more. Inhale and exhale. Now I want you to reverse it. We're going to go away from our center, down and zip up. I don't want you going wider than your mat. And I want everything to stay still on your mat. So the opposite hip, the pelvis, everything is staying still. Give me one more. Inhale and exhale. Arms up, other foot in, and take that foot out. So now I have my left foot in that band, one end with each hand, elbows pulling down. You can have the right knee bent, you can have the right leg straight, okay? All right, so I'm gonna bend that knee, inhale. Exhale, press up. Remember that one? Inhale, bend. Slowly straighten it. Feel your back imprinting on that mat. Bend that knee. Straight, don't forget the breath. Inhale for the nose. Big exhale, all the air out of your center. And we'll do one more. Now make note, what are your shoulders doing? They should be relaxed and reaching long to the spine or to the back. All right, so I'm gonna turn that left kneecap away from me. That bowling ball is on your torso. And that circle towards the other leg, down, around, one. Inhale, exhale, two. A lot of things this exercise is doing for you. It's strengthening the core and you're learning to move your leg from your center. I also feel a lovely hamstring stretch for me when my leg comes up. And one more. And then we reverse it. So as I go away from my hip, I want that hip to stay on the mat. I inhale. Can you reach those legs longer? And inhale, exhale, two. And inhale, exhale, one. Both arms up. Take both feet back in that band into a Pilates stance. I'm going to pull my elbows down again. My heels are connected. I'm going to bend my knees in towards my chest. But my lower back is not up off the floor. It's heavy on that mat. I want you to drive your heels down towards your mat, but don't touch your mat. Okay? And bring them back in. Bring those knees back in. So my knees are going to go away from me, my heels are going to go down towards the mat, and then come back in. Do that again. Inhale, I don't touch the mat, exhale. Are you able to lower your feet and keep your back on the mat? Now let's add on 
if you want. If not, you just stay with that much. I take my feet down. I'm gonna straight my legs, bring them straight up to 90, and then bend my knees back in. So first move, I'm pushing down towards my back. Second move, I'm lengthening my legs. Three, coming straight up. Four, coming back in. Inhale, push down. Exhale, press out, squeeze your bum. Inhale, straight up. Exhale in. Two more. Push the heels down. Reach along your mat. Lift up and bend. Ten last one. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it up and bend it in. I'm going to stay bent. I'm going to rock myself up. And I'm going to straighten my legs again. So my next set of back. I'm going to bring my hands parallel to the floor, as well as my arms, but my palms are facing down, okay? Can you reach forward without that band getting too loose? You may need to regrip. Keep the feet flexed. I'm going to pull my thumbs, they're going to stay high, pull them to your armpits, and then reach long. So I'm going to open my chest, squeeze those back muscles without leaning back. So don't be too heavy on your seat. Be up like you're sitting on a perch. A little bit more forward. Yep. Inhale, release. Exhale. Inhale. Stronger back tonight. Make sure you're lengthening your arms all the way out. And those arms should be staying as high as the shoulders. Five. Good. And four. Here's three. Give me two more. Just two more. Two. And one. And release. I want you to take that band behind you and sit on it. If this is too difficult with your band, the other option is to use your lighter weights. Third option, don't use the band for the weights. And if sitting with your legs straight does not allow you to sit up tall enough, I want you to bend your knees, okay? So I'm gonna grab onto my band. I'm gonna slide my hands to where my thumbs can be by my armpits, but the band is tight, but not too tight. Because I'm gonna be pressing straight up to the ceiling. So as my arms go up, my spine goes up. When I lower my arms, I stay just as tall, so I don't slink down. Inhale, exhale. Think of taking your chest through that door frame. Push it up, bring it in. So the difference in this exercise here in a Pilates class versus in a weight class is that I'm cueing the spine, what it should be doing, as well as your core, right? In a weight class, we're just cueing press up and come down. I want you to focus on the spine lengthening. If the legs are straight, press the back of those knees down, and you should not feel strain, tightness, or pressure in that lower back. Let's do four more. Are you breathing? We inhale up, exhale down, and press. Now my last one, stay here and slide your fingers down this imaginary wall. The band is not loose. Can you pick it back up and then bend your arms? Try that again. Lift up without slouching. Lower straight down. Bring it straight back up. Bam! And bend back down. One more. I feel like I'm torching you with this band tonight. <laughs> Inhale. Am I? Yeah. Exhale. Oh, look at your face. It's going. Okay, yeah. it's my cue, Judy. <laughs> and bring it back down. And release. Okay. So I'm going to take my hands against my mat. Then I'm going to slide my hands towards my heels. What do you think I'm going to tell you to do with your belly as your arms slid up? Pull it in. Now bring those arms parallel to the floor. Lock those shoulders to your rib cage. Now lift up from your belly. Don't lean back. Don't lean back. And then circle the arms around and put the hands back down. So if you have to loosen up that band, loosen it up. What I don't want you to do is lean back. Okay? Shin to chest. Now watch your navel as those arms go forward along your mat. Your navel goes back, yes? Now can 
connect those shoulders to your back. Now lift up, scoop your belly, squeeze your bum. Nothing is coming from that back. Open up your chest through a door frame. Slide the arms down. Can we do this one more? Anybody having strain to their backs? Be okay? Okay. Round. Look into your navel. Watch it go away from those arms. Lift up, 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 up. Circle around and release. Okay, slide that band out. Let's take our band off the side for a minute. I feel like I need to give you a break from your band. So if you have weights, we'll go to our weights. Check in with your body. I encourage you to drink water throughout class, okay? So I'm going to soften these knees. And I'm going to rest my weights on my shins. And my legs are one fist width apart. So even if you don't have weights, you're going to hold your hands on your shins. All right. So keep your weights where they are. Nod your chin to your chest and just round. Like, you know when you do a cat-cow and you're kneeling in a quadruped position and you're rounding your spine? That's what I want you to feel. Now pushing into those weights, zip up all from the core. Exhale all the air out, round. Inhale. I want you now to focus on the shoulders going down as you're coming up. So round. I'm not going to worry about my shoulders right here. But when I'm starting to come up, as my spine is going taller, my shoulders are going deeper. Does that make sense? Can you feel that? So I want to feel this down position, right? For all of us who are so into here. Okay? So it's going to be two more. We exhale coming down. Scoop and round. Keep those weights against your shins. Now use that as leverage to gently press into. And the shoulders connect to your back. And that's where I want them to be. We do the abs series next. And we're going to round that spine. Exhale. Inhale. Zip it up. Now, we're going to round back. Exhale. On an inhale, bring those weights parallel to the floor. Connect your shoulders to your back because that's where they're safe. And I'm going to melt my spine down all the way down. Shoulders are heavy. Slide your heels closer towards your seat. Now I'm going to start with these marches. And believe it or not, these marches are strengthening the core. So anytime I'm doing something in the ab series, you are more than welcome to go back to these marches. So my arms are up, my shoulders are heavy. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, tabletop your right leg. Inhale, put it down. Exhale, left leg. Put it down. And I lift up and down. And down. Keep those shoulders connected. Keep the back of your head pressing into the floor. And draw all that navel in deeper as you lift this leg. So I'm going to take my right leg to a tabletop. Keep my back imprinting. If you're ready to get a little bit more harder, let's take the other leg with it. Draw the knees in closer towards you. And I'm going to cue lifting your head. You never have to lift your head. I'm going to inhale. On the exhale, nod your chin to your chest, eyes to navel, and bring those arms parallel to the floor. Lock those shoulders in. And I want you to draw your right knee in closer as you push the left leg straight out. Now switch. One's coming in, others going out and switch. Now, if this is straining your back or your hips, you're going to shoot your legs higher up. You don't have to go straight out. You can go up. I'm going to pick it up. I inhale to exhale to. And I'm looking around, and if I see your head up and you're parallel to the floor, you're in big trouble. Inhale, exhale. And I go inhale, Exhale, one more set. Inhale, exhale, two knees weigh in, weights on your shins, put your head down. So we're going to check in with that neck for a second. And if it's feeling cranky, sore, tired, maybe on this one, keep your head down. Or try to press the belly in deeper to hold that head up, okay? So I'm going to cue it again. Inhale. 
Exhale, nod the chin to your chest and take your eyes to your navel. Shoulders are off the mat. Base of the shoulder blade touches. My arms are gonna reach parallel again. My feet are parallel, side by side. As I push my legs out, I'm gonna rotate from my hips, my knees out. So I'm gonna pull out these feet. I come back in, I'm in parallel. I'm gonna inhale, hold it for three, two, one, exhale. Can you feel your glutes firing as you press those legs out? We come back in. I inhale, hold, two, three, good. Two more. Out, two, three. Can you feel those inner thighs activate? You won't feel that if your legs aren't together. Hold, good. Knees weigh in, weights on your shins, and release that head back down. All right, so I'm gonna take my weights straight up, shoulders down. I'm gonna take my knees apart and my heels are connected into a Pilates stance. Inhale here, and on the exhale, slowly straighten your legs up, feel your back going heavier. Shoulders are down, please. I'll prepare to lift my head with an inhale. Exhale, nod the chin first, and then I lift up. I'm gonna take the right leg towards the waist, left leg goes away, and then switch, switch. Now, I'm going to bend my elbows with the one leg lowering and straighten them on the other. So I'm gonna hit a little bit of triceps. I inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Legs are straight. Think of scissors. Do scissors have bending to them? No, they're straight, straight legs. I inhale one leg, exhale the other. Four. Three, two, one, knees in, weights on your shins, and release. All right, check in with your body. It never gets easy, right? It never gets, the abs never get easier. And that's okay, it doesn't mean you're not getting stronger, right? It, they're, they're just darn difficult. <laughs> All right, so check in with those shoulders. Check in with your neck, check in with your back. Remember where I told you to go with those marshes, right? So I'm gonna prepare again to lift up. You don't have to lift your head, but you can still breathe with us. We inhale, exhale, nod, lift. Arms straight up, legs straight up. My right, well, let's do both legs. I was gonna cue one, we'll do both. Keep those heels connected. We're gonna lower, two, three. As the legs come up, my arms are gonna come parallel to the floor. I inhale, arms come up, exhale. And again, inhale, two, three. You better pay attention to your back. Pay attention to your neck. If you can't see your navel and the shoulders off the mat, your head should be down. Inhale, two, three. Squeeze, wrap, lift, two more. Inhale, inhale. Inhale, exhale, and one more. One, two, three, knees in, weights on the shins, put your head down. We have one left to do. And for those of you who know the order, the abs series, it's the crisscross, it's the obliques. So I'm gonna press into those shins again, inhale to prepare, exhale, chin to chest, lift it up. And I'm gonna take my arms parallel to the floor again, and I want you to turn towards the screen and the weight's are gonna straddle that leg closest to the screen and the other leg is gonna press out. And I'm kind of rotating here, but my back is still heavy. I switch, I straddle the bent leg and I switch and I straddle. Exhale. Try to stay off your shoulders. So I'm not gonna rock and roll back onto my upper back. I'm going to stay high and deep in that core. If the opposite foot is touching that thigh, your knees are not in the correct position. They should become straight in. One more each side. You got this. Hug it in and take your head down. Let's release the neck. Look to one side of the room. Ah. And then look to the other. Good. And then we're gonna rock ourselves up. Okay. Are we still here? Okay. So I want you to take your band. 
we're gonna put it behind our back again. Back to our band, yay. All right, come on, look alive, look alive. We should get more energy than we first walked into class, yes? Am I lying? Okay. All right, so make sure your hair is not underneath that band that you got long, Tony. Take your legs as wide as your mat. I'm not worried about the legs. So I don't care if they're straight. I don't care if they're bent. For all I care, you can sit cross them. Whatever it's gonna take to get your spine the most upright. So if I was standing behind you and I put my leg right next to your back, would I have to push you forward or would you be able to get hit? <laughs> and okay, so if I still need to push you forward, then you need to reposition, you know, release the hips, right? Because I'm probably preventing you. Yes, if you're taller, so what you did, did you go wider or did you go just more bent? More bent, okay. So you guys have to figure it out because when you're in a room with this many people, I can't get to each one of you. So you have to think, okay, does it feel good to my lower back? Do I feel like it's work? That's how I know I'm sitting up tall. It's freaking work, <laughs> okay? All right, so pick your poison with your legs. My elbows are bent. As I'm pushing out, I'm going to round forward to my mid-back. I'm pressing into that back, into that band. I'm going to bend my elbows and stack my spine back up. So the difference here in this spine stretch is I'm focusing more of my mid-back pressing into that band, okay? So I'm going to inhale here. My arms are going to stay parallel. My chin's going to go to my chest. I'm still rounding forward, but I'm pushing into that band. My navel is deeper. And then bring it back. Because we're going to do a couple without this band. So we're leaning back. Don't be leaning into your band here. Come more forward. You gotta crease at those hips, right? Okay, ready? Inhale to prepare. My arms are parallel, I'm not going downhill. And I'm pressing that navel back, like that band's going all the way down my back. And then we bring the elbows back. Now I want you to drop the band. And I want you to reach those arms parallel to the floor. We're gonna inhale up, and on the exhale, I draw my chin to my chest. And as my arms are pushing forward, my back is pressing into the imaginary band and my stomach's pulling in. When I lift up, I don't lean back. I come straight up and I feel everything from my center, nothing in my back. Let me watch, inhale up, exhale. Push the belly back. Don't be afraid to move those arms. They're gonna move forward, yeah. But only to where you can keep that lower back on the floor. Don't drop your arms down. Yeah. Now stack up. Stack up taller. Taller. You're not allowed to lean. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. So look, my arms are still moving forward, but I'm keeping my lower back still. I'm pushing my navel back to my spine. And I'm going to bring it back up. Shoulders better be down. And release those arms. Slide those hands towards the top of your mat. I'm not worrying about your back staying against the wall. I just want you to get a stretch. You can even bend your knees, and that will give you a bigger stretch to your spine. Let your head go heavy. Then when you're ready, slide those hands back towards you. Those shoulders need to be planted down, and I lift myself nice and tall. Bend your knees, and take the fingertips pointing towards you, but the hands are behind you. So if we have a shoulder issue, a wrist issue, I want you to keep your butt on your mat, and let's rehearse what we will do with our butts down on the mat. So I'm gonna bend my elbows, and then press my arms straight open my chest. Bend my elbows, navel goes in. Can you feel your chest going through a door frame as you come back up? So push through those hands. Shoulders lie down your back. I bend my elbows. Now focus more on the back of your upper arm squeezing. So this is one option if you have an issue where you can't come low weight on your wrist. Another option is sliding my feet further out. Grab your weights for a second. So my elbows will pull back. Now I'm gonna hinge forward. Now I'm gonna make sure there's room for my arms to clear the mat behind me. My palms are turned in. And this is another option to do for triceps. Keep your navel pulling in, keep the spine lifted, keep the shoulders down as best you can, and squeeze those triceps. Okay, next option, 
is no weights. Go back to where your feet were flat, your elbows were bent. So I want you to keep everything bent and just lift your booty a little bit off your mat. Okay, like a little one fist off your mat. So I'm gonna drive my arms straight up, hover, straight up, hover. So again, if this doesn't feel good, you keep your booty on the ground, you grab the weights, but you're gonna work that upper arm, okay? Yep, so pick your poison. I'm watching those shoulders, yep. And you have to bend. So many people keep their arms locked and do this. If you don't bend and extend, you're not hitting this, okay? Can you give me four more? Four, yeah. Three, commit, commit. Two more. One more, and lower back down. Okay, circle those wrists. I know, the wrist get cranky flexion. I get it, I totally get it. Okay, grab that onto your band, and put it behind your feet. Okay. Is the band your favorite prop? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just won't do that tonight. But we did it last week, sort of. Okay, so the band's behind my feet. I'm gonna lie down, my elbows go down, my legs go up. Shoulders are down. Back is heavy. And I'm pushing into that band. So I'm gonna get the length in my legs. Keeping the navel heavy and the spine heavy. Take the legs to the right, circle down around to the left, and hold center. Reverse to the left, down and around. So I don't want your chin like this, because look at my neck. So I want you to feel like the back of your head is firmly pressing into the mat, and you're almost holding almost an apple in between the chest and your chin. So no chins up to the sky. And I inhale, and if that's not helping, if you wore a sweatshirt to class today, I want you to roll it up and put it underneath your neck, okay? So I want you to keep that neck relaxed, yeah, okay? Keep circling, but I don't want your hips doing a hula hoop. I want you to anchor down the hips and the core. What are you moving your legs from? Your core, right, your belly. That's usually the answer if I ask that question. What are you using? Let's just do one more each direction. I'm gonna go over and around. And one more, that back is staying heavy, it's solid. Good, and bend those knees in. Ah. Let's rock ourselves back up, press those legs straight out. Bam, nicely done. Okay, so I want you to have the band on your mat where your feet just were. And you're gonna come onto your stomach and you're going to lay top of your sternum on that band. So you may need to adjust where that band is. And remember, anything I use with the band, we can do without the band. So shoulder issues, neck issues, doesn't feel good, we don't use the band. So we're gonna work some more on these back muscles, in particular that Surround the anterior muscle. I call that armpit muscle right here, okay? Yep, okay, so we're gonna slide. Slide, don't pull. Slide your hands along the band until they're on each end of the mat. Your legs are sits bone width apart, so it's almost like a fist. If you have tightness to your lower back and it feels better to have the legs further apart, go for it. Now, right now, I want you to feel like there's a string from your tail to your heels, and your heels are gonna drive you further down that mat, and I want that tail to be nice and long and tucked. So almost like pulling that navel off the mat more so my tail can get longer. I hope that makes sense. I'm trying to find a different way to explain that. All right, so I'm keeping my forehead on my mat, Shoulders are connected to my back. I'm gonna press my arms out like a T, and they're off the mat. I'm gonna look real quick and make sure they're out in line with my shoulders and have no flexion to my wrists. I'm gonna lift a little bit, my chest up, my head goes along for the ride. So I'm in a little bit of extension, so I'm gonna fire my glutes a little bit. Then I want you to do back circles, five. Four, three, two, 
pause, reverse, five, four, three, two, hold. Pull your pinkies back and lift the chest higher. Bring the arms back out to a T, lower your chest. Pull back again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, pull back, exhale. Keep that belly button pulling in, two more. Keep your neck in line with your spine so I shouldn't see your eyeballs. One more, bend your arms and release everything down. Did you feel anything in a good way? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you gotta make sure that those glutes are just a little bit engaged to protect that lower back. Again, if you don't wanna use your band, you can use your weights or nothing at all. Okay, so my hands are to the edge of my mat again, my navel's pulling in, relax those shoulders down, press those arms to a T, I look super fast, making sure I'm not like a T, and my wrists are straight. I cover my head and chest, five circles backwards. One, two, squeeze those armpits, three, four, reverse, five, four, three, two, one, pull the pinkies back, lift higher, inhale, Exhale, out like a T. Inhale, four. Inhale, three. Inhale, two. Last one. Bend the arms and release. Child's pose back. You deserve that. Scoop the belly. Round the back. Transition nice and slow. Do we do okay with that? Okay. All right, so the band off to the side. Then I take my weights onto my mat. And it'll be one weight with each hand. Now I'm going to go into a modified plank. So modified plank, your booty should be sticking out. The hips are down. So I'm going to balance on my left side of my body, pull my right arm in, put it back down. Do it again, right. And three, two, one. I'm going to put this hand flat. It feels better to my wrist, but you can hold on to the waist still. I'm going to go to my left. Are we ready? Five, four. Keep those hips still. Three, two, and one. I'm going to put my hand flat. I'm going to grab back onto my right. Okay? Do it again. Five, four, three, two, one. My hands will go flat. Grab onto the left, but don't lean. Here we go. Five, four. Squeeze lemons in those armpits. Good. With the hand flat. I'm going to add on. Right hand. Pull, kick back, bend, tap down. Pull it back. Kick straight, retrace your steps. Two more. Squeeze a lemon in that left arm, but especially. One more. Woo! Put that hand flat. Other hand. Row, kick back, retrace. There's four. Pull, kick. Here's three. Pull. Kick. Here's two. Last one. Two hands flat. Stretch back. I'm going to release my wrists. I'm going to bring my arms behind me. Curl my fingertips to my wrists. I can let my head fall to the mat. That feels good. Make sure those shoulders are relaxed. Nicely done. Okay, onto our seat with our weights. <coughs> so we're going to do some bridges. Still working the back of our body. So we're gonna lie down, knees are bent. Woo, my goodness, where did time go? Wow, okay. Weights are up, palms turned in, knees one fist width apart. Tuck your tail, and as you're coming up into a bridge, the arms will go down. I will press those weights through the floor, lift up my seat, open up those hips, pull my navel in, articulate your spine down. Tuck that tail, scoop the belly, 
Inhale, squeezing my inner thighs. They're not touching, but they're engaged. Exhale, melt back down. Reach long. Inhale. Exhale. Two more, please. Scoop, tuck, lift. Exhale, melt. Watch that chin where it's at. Lift up. Now here on the exhale, keep your bridge, but bring those arms up. Shoulders are down. Lift up those hips, please. Now I want you to cross your right ankle, if you're able, over your left quad. That knee turns out. We're going to lower the bridge. Lift it up one. Lower everything down. Lift everything up two. And three. Open up the arms as we lower down. Bring them back up. Open, chest flies, and three, two, and one. Put that foot down, fix your bridge, please. Cross the left ankle over the right quad, let that knee turn away from you. We'll lower down, we'll lift up. Inhale, exhale, are those shoulders heavy? We'll fly open. Exhale, up. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze that inner thigh. Two more. One more. Hold it two feet on the floor. We're gonna lower halfway down. I'm gonna come up and tap my knees together. They separate down, they tap together up. So it's down, tap, up. And as I tap those knees, can you feel those glutes going woo? That's right. That's right. Party. Squeeze that booty. Eight. Seven. I'm exhaling on the up. I believe we have four more, maybe. And three. And two. And one. And release. Hug those knees in. Nicely done. Okay. Rock yourself up. Good. Face me, come onto your side. Okay, we're gonna have a few minutes left. All right, so knees are towards the top edge. You can be propped up. You can be here. You can be here, so pick it. All right, so I'm gonna take this weight. I'm gonna lengthen my top leg nice and long. Keep this rib cage lifted. Squeeze a lemon in that bottom armpit. We're gonna lift parallel and lower, just a parallel. Reach. I'm gonna push that bottom leg down as I lift up. You should not be heavy on this bottom shoulder. Good. And lift. Three. Good. Two. Hold it up. I'm gonna go top of my mat, back of my mat. Top. Back. Boom, and lift. Four, with control please. Three, real straight leg, real straight leg. You have no knees. Two, I'm lifting little rainbows. One, hold center. Now we're gonna circle, round and come up. Round and come up, don't rush. Three, two, one, reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring that knee behind you. Release that weight. I'm going to turn slightly away from that knee. I'm on two hands. I'll soften my elbows and we're going to lift this back leg and lower. Lift. So I'm facing away from that leg. Spine is long. You're going to squeeze that booty. Sorry. I promise no good work. Couldn't help myself. Four. Three, two, and one. Bring it on up. Grab on that back shin. Stretch. Take this hand to the mat, away from you. Bend your forearm, bend the elbow. Go onto your forearm and stretch. Gorgeous. Okay, other side. Weight's optional. Knees are bent, they're stacked. 
Shoulder and elbow in a straight line. Bottom rib cage lifted. Squeeze that lemon. You can lie down, prop your head up, or lay on your arm. Take that top leg nice and long. Put that weight on that thigh to make it work harder. Yep, make sure your knees towards the top edge of that mat. And we lift up and down. So make sure your hips are stacked. I'm using my glute, my outer thigh, my hip, my core. Take your time. Up and down. Up and down. Did class go by fast tonight? Yes, it did. Okay, so honestly, you're telling the truth. If it goes quite fast, it means you had fun. Like, it wasn't like, oh gosh, we still have 40 minutes to go. Hold it up. I'm going to trace a rainbow up to the front. Up, tap behind. And up, and up. You're still squeezing those same muscles. Don't take the hip with you. Here's four and four. Three and three, two and two, one, bring it up, and then circle, and up, four, use your belly as much as that leg, two, reverse, push off that mat, do not collapse this bottom rib cage, and three, and two, and one, bend that knee behind you, I come up on the arm, two hands on the mat, Soften your elbows, you slightly come forward. Lift that back leg up and down. You might get out of teasers tonight. Leg pull front, oh my goodness. What an easy class for you. Mm -hmm. Core's engaged, yes, four. Three, you got this. Two, and one. Sit up, grab onto your back shin. Use that as leverage to pull this arm over. Love it. Take this hand out. Forearm comes onto that mat. Press that hip down. Bring it back to center. Okay, so face the center of the room. Just give me one more minute. It's okay to go over a minute or two because it's worth it. So we're gonna do three quick stretches on each leg. Hamstring, IT band, inner thigh, but not in the Okay, so right foot's got the band. We're gonna quickly get set up. Lie back, bring this leg straight up, elbows pull down. Both legs straight. I'm gonna inhale, exhale, pull this leg closer towards you. Relax the neck and shoulders, inhale. Exhale, pull it towards you. Now put both ends into your right hand. Pull that right elbow back down. Both legs must be straight, so straighten that left leg out. Yep, left arm out like a T. Let the right leg float away from you. Keep the hip you're going away from heavy. Push that foot into your band. Push it as that hand, the hands are pulling towards you. Can you feel that stretch in the inner thigh over the hip? Bring that leg back up, put both ends into your left hand, pull the left elbow down, the right arm goes out like T. Keep your hips and butt cheeks where they are, but take this right leg across your body as far as you can keep the butt down. IT man stretch here. Now I'm gonna keep my leg going, my butt's gonna come off the mat, I'm gonna look away from this leg, my shoulders must stay to the floor. I'm gonna push that leg longer into that band. Keep your shoulders heavy. Bring it back up. One end in each hand, and we'll do the left foot, left leg, then you're done. So I pull my elbows down. Both legs are straight. I'm gonna inhale, exhale, pull that leg closer towards you. Inhale, exhale. Put both ends into your left hand, left elbow down. Right arm out like a T. Now as I take my leg out to my left, away from my body, I keep that right hip heavy. And I'm pushing that leg long as I pull that hand towards me. Up position. Don't forget to breathe. Now bring it back up. Put both ends into your right hand. Pull your right elbow down. Left arm out like a T. 
keep your hip and butt cheek on the mat. I'm gonna take my left leg over to my right. I'm still pushing into that band. Now I'm gonna look away from that leg as it goes further. It's taking my seat, my hip, my back. I can only go as far as my shoulders stay to the mat. Now I'm pulling that band as I'm pushing it longer. Bring it back up, one end in each hand. I want to use this band as leverage to sit up. Whew. Sit cross-legged. Ah, oh, made it. I'm going to lean slightly forward for a little pressure so my legs can go wider. Ah. Uh, yes. Sit up. I want you to clasp your hands. Palms face you. As I slowly straighten my arms, my chin goes to my chest, I round my back, and my navel is pushing in. Can you zip up that spine, even though you're rounded? Now start to lengthen that spine back up and bring the arms with you up, 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 and give me a little bit of an arch. And as I lower my arms down, don't collapse the rib cage. Try to still stay nice and lengthened. Everybody come back down. You made it. Oh.